Hi guys, Bomber here, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be showing you another deck to farm Grandmaster difficulty into single player mode. Today will be a Madris deck with the hero Greta and it's a deck which I like to call the Greta Assassins. So, as the name suggests, this deck is all based around the card Assassin and the Assassin card really shines when you have a bunch of uh, skull gain and it becomes really fast and deadly pretty soon, like uh, the, the card should be, an Assassin, you know. And uh, so, for that reason, we run a copy of Surveillance uh, to help uh, the gain that skulls and also a copy of Tavern Wench, which is uh, nice to control the board even more and if uh, we actually uh, have uh, board control, uh, we also gain that plus one skull, which is very nice uh, for the Assassins to kill uh, very very fastly our opponent and also we run two copies of Seduce to even more uh, increase the board control and also get that uh, plus two skills uh, uh, to help and activate uh, assassins and for example if we have two assassin on play and play one Seduce we gain uh, four attacks of the assassins and also two skills so it's like uh, DL6 uh, for three cost uh, and uh, obviously the, the cost has been changed uh, pretty recently but uh, you know that the 3 gold to deal 6 damages is very nice and so for that reason it's a very nice combo and also we run a copy of Mice Direct uh, which helps protect our allies and also it has the, the Retaliate we could say uh, which is even more for board control and help us stabilize pretty soon and uh, then never lose our board control uh, ever since and also a copy of Willay to just have another answer to early threats like a bunker or something like that. And then we also run two copies of Stratagem because when we finally have that board control, uh, um, most of the times one more turn means uh, a, a little. And so for that reason uh, Stratagem is a very strong card in this deck. So, in our first match we are up against an Ezra, and as I said, the first card to search for is obviously the Assassin, and for that reason, we could, since we do not have the Assassin uh, into, uh, into our bank, we can start by playing a Mice Direct, because if we actually restock an Assassin, Mice Direct will help us uh, to protect our, our Assassin. And so we still do not uh, uh, restock uh, an Assassin, and so we'll go ahead and just play a Surveillance to just uh, start our Skull uh, production and we luckily restock the Assassin and so for that reason you see that the Mice Direct is uh, very nice to protect the Assassin and also the Surveillance we set up uh, a turn early uh, is uh, nice because right now we have the Assassin to actually double the, the damage uh, the, the Surveillance does and so for that reason we'll pass because uh, we will not uh, commit too much by playing a stratagem or something like that and you see that the, right now the Mice Direct helped us uh, to control uh, our board by killing the Art of Rats and also dealt another damage uh, to Ezra and so it's a very nice card to just protect a little bit our allies and also uh, put that additional pressure which is uh, always nice so since we uh, proc the uh, Berserker we'll go ahead and play a stratagem to actually put a little bit of more damage in and uh, luckily enough we restocked the Mice Direct uh, which will help us protect our allies from the Stampede, uh, which is uh, obviously incoming. And also, I did not say it, but the best coins for these decks are the Ferryman's Dolls, obviously, because we can proc the Assassins uh, uh, more times. But also, the, the one uh, that uh, summons the Berserker is not that, uh, that bad, because uh, we gain even more uh, board control. And so, it's very nice. So right now we'll go ahead and play another stratagem since we still have uh, board control and uh, we'll hopefully restock something useful. And right now the Mice Direct is always nice because we can uh, even more uh, maintain uh, our board control. And then we'll pass. And right now you see that we have a very explosive turn because we can play an Assassin and two Seduces. Uh, I don't think we can do all three of them but uh, we can go very close to that, so we'll first of all clear the Erdog boards because right now we want the Seduce to not Seduce but uh, to actually get us the Skulls because uh, you see that we are very very close to lethal and if the Bantling Clown procs we are in lethal range and so it did proc and so GG. In our second match we are up against Arachtaban and as I said, the first card to search for is, uh, as always, the Assassin, and so we'll go ahead and grab that since we luckily have it uh, in our starting bag this time. And we'll also protect it uh, with a Mice Direct, and uh, if uh, nothing changes next turn, we'll probably go and play a Tavern Wench to actually increase our, 
our damages per turn uh, thanks to the assassin and also steal something like a Bishmog if he wants to play it. And if he actually manages to kill the Tavern Wench, and he probably did, yes he did. So right now you see that uh, the Tavern Wench also uh, uh, um, acted like a, like a decoy, because uh, he spent all his magic on the Tavern Wench and uh, did, not, did not actually hoard it up to kill the Assassin, and we value more the Assassin rather than the Tavern Wench. And uh, luckily enough also the, the Great Tyro power uh, activated and so he did not uh, even kill the Tavern Wench. And so we'll go ahead and play a surveillance to increase uh, our damages per turn uh, with the assassin. And we'll pass. The stratagem is a very nice restock. And you see that another time he wasted all his resources on the tavern wench. And he did not even kill that. Uh, and that's very lucky because the um, great abilities are uh, activated two times in a row. And so it's very lucky. But uh, we'll not... Uh, say it's bad and so we'll uh, play a stratagem to actually uh, threaten our opponent of lethal and so if probably the ferryman tolls activate it will be lethal but it did not activate so that's fine we'll uh, wait another turn he actually healed and so it's a very bad play because you always uh, have to uh, try and kill the the allies because uh, this is a recurring threat instead healing is only uh, a one uh, you, you are uh, delaying the, the turn you die uh, by one, but you're not delaying the, the dying, and so it's not a very good move. But uh, anyway, it's lethal, and so GG. So, in our third and final match we are up against a Caliphate, and as always the first card to share for is the Assassin, and uh, luckily enough we also have a Mice Direct to help us uh, protect the Assassin even more. And we'll go ahead and try to grab the regular six because uh, a Berserker early on is uh, very nice. So he now uh, has a Banishing Gust, so he probably will uh, uh, banish uh, our Assassin. But uh, we'll go ahead and play a Tavern Wench to actually try and bait it out uh, for the Tavern Wench. And he actually went for the Mice Direct and then killed the Tavern Wench. So that's fine. And right now, since we do not have uh, too much of a board and uh, anything like that, we don't need to play the Waylay or the Seduce, obviously, and so we'll pass. So, right now, actually, uh, stealing a Berserker is not that bad, even if uh, it's a very bad alley. But uh, I think it will probably go for the Waylay and uh, kill it, and then uh, heal it up if uh, it did retaliate. But uh, luckily enough, the, the Greta intercepted the attacks, and so we'll pass. And obviously the waylay uh, ignores intercepts and so that's why I did that move. So right now, since we do not have any other thing to do, we can go ahead and grab a stratagem just to gain an additional turn and uh, restock uh, something better. And we'll go ahead and play the surveillance to actually try and double the, the damages of the assassin, but obviously we'll go ahead and uh, banish uh, all of them. And so he does. So right now we can do a pretty aggressive move by playing two assassins and then playing a Seduce and uh, as you have seen uh, this is uh, six damages uh, which I mentioned before and so we'll pass right now. He did uh, try and kill something with the Whispered Barbs but he, like, unluckily for him uh, healed only the Berserker. And so right now we'll uh, play another, I don't think it's lethal, it's a six. Uh, no, it's not lethal, and so we we can will miss uh, another turn, but we'll play a surveillance to put even more pressure on him and uh, actually heal the assassin. Uh, if, uh, if for some reasons get uh, an attack, uh, it's better to heal it. And so right now I think it's lethal, but uh, we for being sure we'll go ahead and play a stratagem and wait another turn. And then uh, right now it's lethal. So GG. So, as you have seen, this deck is very very fast, and it's a little bit reliant on the Assassin restock to actually start all the things to, to, to being done, but uh, it has the ways to recover from a bad situation and from a slow start, like for example with Waylay or Tavern Wench into Misdirect, so it has some uh, uh, plans B, for uh, to say that. 
And so for that reason, uh, since it's a very fast deck and also a very consistent one, it's a very uh, good deck to farm Grandmaster modes. And uh, also it's very nice into multiplayer, and so if you want to try it into multiplayer, it's also pretty fine. And so that's it for this video, hope you like it and find it useful. Be sure to leave down below a comment to let me know what you want to see in the next videos, and as always, see ya!